I'm Dr. Shalina Lalji, Medical Director of Dr. Shell Wellness and Medical Spa. Welcome. As a board certified physician, health and wellness are my top priorities. Having practiced medicine for the past 16 years, I have devoted myself to helping men and women live their best lives possible. Okay, so yes. when a patient comes in, like she did, what do you do? The first thing I do is I spend about an hour with my patients to really get to know who they are, where they've been, what they're experiencing, what their symptoms are. And I'll be honest with you, when I was practicing as a gynecologist for many, many years accepting insurance, there's no way I could spend an hour with my patients. Right. So now that makes a big difference to the patients. But then we do a baseline hormonal study to see where they are. Yeah, okay, and so there's yeah. that test that other people yes. say, well, I went to my doctor and they yes. said that wasn't the problem. That's right. Explain to us the difference between uh, how you read that test and okay. combination with listening to somebody's symptoms? Very important question, Deborah. The way that you read it, and I'll just give you an example, thyroid, for example. Mm -hmm. The range of the thyroid result is about this wide, when it really needs to be optimal about this wide. Right. So basically, so, if, you, if, this, if the range is like this, yes. and you were here, and now all of a sudden you're here, exactly. like what happened to me after having my son, yes. I was a crazy woman. You were. And um, it, she, she, uh, she, uh, she can I tell you. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, yeah, and you know, because it was the, all the things that you talked about, depression right. and all that type of stuff, tired. And so your body notices when there's a yes, shift. Yes, it does. Uh, that range is way too wide. That's right. And you're still within that range, so most traditional doctors will say, well, you're still within the range. Yeah. So it's not your thyroid, you some here's an antidepressant, some, yeah, yeah. exactly. And what we do is we know where the optimal range is where you, Deborah, needs to be. Mm -hmm. And we look at that as well as look at the ranges for your estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, etc. So when libido starts going down, when hot flashes start coming up, you know that there are deficiencies and we can easily correct them by giving you the natural hormones that are biologically identical to what your bodies are used to right, recognize. Right. One of the crucial ways of taking care of the entire person is to balance their hormones using bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, both in men and women. We are talking about bioidentical hormones. That's so right. real quick, we only have about 30 seconds sure. left on this topic. Can sure. you explain that? Bioidentical hormones, by definition, is a hormone that is biologically identical to what the body produces. Therefore, we can recognize it, we can absorb it, and we can utilize it to enhance health. And what you really need to look at is we need to give our um, female patients, as well as our male patients, a good quality of life. And that's what they're really lacking. We have made great advances in the medical world, but in the new era, in this new millennium, there is a lot that we need to know, that we need to tell the public mm -hmm. about hormones, because it's really about the balance of hormones, nutrition, exercise, a great diet that really leads to a great quality of life. As a traditional physician, I felt limited by the time I could devote to my patients and the services I could provide. This motivated me to embark on this wonderful journey of wellness and aesthetics where I can take care of the entire patient rather than the parts. And that has been a very satisfying journey. I think women should just follow their heart. And uh, yes, I went to medical school for four years, residency for four years, practiced ob for over 10. But then I really felt that I wasn't able to give back what I really wanted to. The main reason I went into medicine is to spend time with my patients and really get to know the patient that was sitting in front of me and to look at the entire person. And in ob I was seeing 30 patients a day, spending 10 to 15 minutes per patient, and I couldn't do that. And so I followed my heart and said, I'm going to do this my way, not listen to the insurance companies, and really look at the entire person and spend, now I spend at least an hour with my initial visit. The journey is uh, something that we have to really enjoy and participate in as a person, as a woman. Uh, we as women just have a lot of challenges. We grew up as being caretakers. And we are sort of trained mentally as being the caretakers, whether it's of our children, our families, our husbands, our parents, etc. We forget a very important person, and that's ourselves. And we as women uh, really need to remember to do that for ourselves. And what I think is really important is to take a balanced but a very comprehensive approach where you look at yourself as, uh, as a very important asset and the only real asset that you have, because without that, you can't give to anybody. So um, I, I really believe that we have to look at our health. 
which encompasses, of course, our hormonal balance. It encompasses our nutritional balance. It encompasses fitness and exercise, what we put into our bodies, what we eat, what we drink, how much of water that we drink, what kinds of toxins we're surrounding ourselves with, and stress management. Are we engaging in things like meditation, yoga, doing something for the mind and the body and the spirit so that we don't carry the stress around with us at all times because it does affect how our hormones work and how our nutritional balance is exercised, etc. So there are so many things that we as women just really need to focus on and take in and perhaps seek others' help if we don't have all the answers, which most of us don't have all the answers. You too should embark on your journey to achieve and live your best life possible, both on the inside and out.